Good morning, class family. It's a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Let's start with the date. April 18th, 2023. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will review letter sounds and vowels. Next, we will read and write CBC words. Then, we will learn new vocabulary words. After that, we will research about a topic. Last, we will do literacy centers. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, class family, let's look back and reread the message. Remember, good readers read things again. It's called rereading. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Let's start with this month. I see a capital letter A, then P-R-I-L. Do you remember what that says? You're right, it does say April. If you remember that, great job. Let's reread the whole date. April 18th, 2023. After the date, let's reread the greeting beginning with the word dear. Good writers write letters to people beginning with the word dear. Dear class family. After the greeting, I see a punctuation mark. It starts on the line and does a little curve. Do you remember what that's called? It is a comma. If you remember that, go ahead and pat yourself on the back. And let's review the punctuation marks that you're going to be seeing throughout the message. We have comma, period, exclamation mark, also called an exclamation point, and question mark. Let's go ahead and continue rereading. Look at the first telling sentence. I notice it starts with a capital T. Remember, good writers start sentences with capital letters. As we are rereading, you're going to be noticing punctuation marks and capital letters. Let's go ahead and reread. Today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday, and it's a terrific Tuesday. Look at the next telling sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that each day to be a great collaborator, communicator, and creative and critical thinker. We do this by listening, writing, and drawing, asking and answering questions, making connections, and sharing our thinking. Make sure that when you share, you speak loudly and clearly for all to hear. Use your mouth to speak and your ears to listen. That's what good communicators do. Let's continue to reread. We're going to be looking at this transitional word. It starts with an F, like F fun. Do you know what it says? I heard some of you say it. It does say first. Let's go ahead and review the transitional words that are going to be within the message today. We have first, next, then, and then there's a new one after that. And last, remember good writers can sequence their writing with first, next, then, and last. Good readers sequence their stories as well. There are also different transitional words and phrases that you'll be using as you are growing up to help put your stories in order. And one of the ones you're going to be using is after that. This is within the message today. Let's go ahead and reread starting with this transitional word first. First, we will review letter sounds and vowels. Okay, just like we do every day, we use our word wall as a resource to review the ABCs, letter sounds, and pictures to match that word. Let's review the vowels, the short vowel sounds, starting with um, this one here. A, apple, A, E, N, E, I, itch, I, O, octopus, A, and U, up, A. We're going to see those short vowel sounds within simple CBC words today at school. Oh, I see this sentence here. It starts with N, not N. Say this transitional word next. Next, we'll read and write CBC words. Okay, we will. We're going to read and write CBC words. We're going to practice tapping them out, writing them, and we're going to do the CBC word song where we break down the word for the beginning, middle, and ending sound and then clapping the whole word. It's going to be awesome. All right. Oh, I see another transitional word here. Do you know what it says? It starts with a T. Then. 
Then we will learn new vocabulary words. Okay, so we will learn new vocabulary words and that's going to be helping us before we do something very special today. Good readers learn juicy new vocabulary words to help pump their brains with knowledge and to help understand the text that they're reading. Okay, here's the new fancy transitional phrase, after that. After that, we will research about a topic. Oh, we will. We're going to see how good writers and readers can research about a topic. And we're going to be researching about da, 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 ants. What do you know about ants? We're going to be brainstorming some ideas and we're going to be looking up information about ants. Okay. Oh, I see another transitional word. It starts with L lamp ul. Last. Last, we will do literacy centers. Okay, we will do literacy centers. We'll do da da da, Lexi 4 5 reading program. We're going to be doing some different centers in class, building CVC words, writing CVC words, and sight words, reading books. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have a fantastic day. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Our do you like question for today is da da da. Do you like strawberries? Well, do you? Think about your answer. Get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. Do you like strawberries?